Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. So who is the features? The features is got his own YouTube channel. He's he's probably one of one of our most underrated. The thing is, he's he says what he thinks and stuff, and that's trouble. You that's know. good. I was on uh, <laughs> on Yemeni front the other night. He he's on a. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. That's 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 a big tuskia from your brother. Exactly. To be honest, I, I saw I did see you talking about not that particular podcast. Mm. But I've heard you talk about Jada Franzen and and maybe not agreeing about us platforming in people like that. Is that There's, there, there is a conglomerate of YouTubians who have made it a part of their MO, not their MO, but rather their business strategy to platform the dying and dilapidated careers of white supremacists. What would they we get out of that? They would get a different audience and a, basically a quick boost to their uh, platforms, what, however much it, it boosts. They know what they're getting. I don't know what they're getting because I would never, ever do that. Let, let me tell you something. I will never, ever, ever punish you for having integrity. You will never lose in this life or in the hereafter for having in integrity. But you will lose with Allah for selling out. So there is a business model for selling out. And we've seen it happen time and time and time again where you find the most disgusting characters being platformed by YouTubians. And I mean disgusting characters. Even anti-Islamic characters, they will platform them. They will put them in front of them with something that's never happened before. I've never seen this happen before. right? People who absolutely hate Islam, how can we have a bromance with this person? Because of populism and this push to the alt-right. That's, that's exactly what's going on. We've seen it with Jordan Peterson. We've seen it with Benjamin Omen. We've seen it with Jake Shields. Right? So many different characters. Nick Fuentes, just pearly things. All of these far right characters always end up in Muslim circles to revive their careers. And in return, these Muslims get a whole new audience. So this is what's going on here. It's no, no different. In my humble opinion, I know you don't have a pro opinion about Muslim mom, but you know me, I'm going to say what I feel, right? Muslim mom is one of, one of the most egregious perpetrators of biscuitry butter bitchery on youtube whatever is popping whatever is trending that's her opinion that's it so re recently she did one about candace owens candace owens her only claim to fame is anti-blackness that's it that is what she's known for she is white supremacy in blackface and she admitted as much but yet you will find all of these YouTubians now saying, we should support Candace Owens, we should support Candace Do you know how many people converted to Islam that these guys have not talked about? Do you watch MMA or do you watch Fighting by any chance? Do you know Rod Tang? You know Rod Tang? Yeah. That the, 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 he's a very, 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 one of the most famous and probably, in my opinion, probably the top five Thai boxers in the world. His name is Rod Tang. He converted to Islam. You didn't hear anything about that, okay? Mm. Do you know Amiri, famous singer back in the, in the I guess, early 2000s, very famous. She has, she has that song. It's just one thing that got me tripped at that song. It's very, very famous. Oh, yeah. She converted to Islam. You didn't hear them talking about that. But yet they want to invite Candace Owens to their platforms. One of them even said, Jesse Lee Peterson has a lot in common with us. Jesse Lee Peterson, another far right white supremacist and black piece. He's one of the worst. He's like the, 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 the embodiment of Uncle Ruckus. The, one, the, one of the most popular Muslim platform, I'm not going to say it on your, your channel because I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> I, I like to tap dance a bit more than you. Uh... Yeah, but, you know, we, yeah. we you know what I mean? We, we don't do no tap dancing you know, because I I, I, our, our reward is with a luck, right? That's what we yeah. broke. That's what we dusty. <laughs> okay. I get you. I get you. <laughs> yeah. looking, at, looking at the other side, like I say, these aren't my opinions, but I'm just looking at, because you, you call them obviously YouTube, YouTubian, YouTubian, yeah, yeah. right? YouTube, YouTubian Dow elites. Yeah. So <laughs> if you've got someone like, if you've got someone like Jordan Peterson, who's got a large <laughs> following, would yeah. it, could it, could you see it from their side that they would maybe go after him? Cause he's, he's got a big following. So if we, if we convert him, we're spreading Islam even more. Could that be their intention? Hell no. Till the no, 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 yeah, till the no. No, no, it's not their intention at all. Not even remotely close. Not even remotely. What's happening to the Muslims right now? And what's happening to these alt writers? Are these are these far writers becoming Muslim or are the, are the Muslims becoming far writers? Which one is happening? 
I would say who is that. giving Udawa to who? <laughs> 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 who is giving out to who up in here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are these yeah. far riders becoming Muslims? Are these Muslims becoming far riders? Which one is it? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> No, I hear you. I, I hear you on that. Because I, th- I think, uh, yeah, like we said, we've got Peterson, Tate, and th- there are the- these. So from my, from my point of view, I see these people being propped up. And mm-hmm. it's been baffling. I've always thought, you know, why would we want... Like Andrew Tate, mashallah, converts to Islam. And you mm-hmm. can use that as like, wow, a guy with all this money and all that thing. But to prop him up as this role model or some kind mm-hmm. of like person to follow has been very confusing to see. And I, and I think it's been... A shame that so many people have sort of lapped onto that, and uh, yeah, and like I said I've, I've I've seen your opinions on on, on it. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's this has never happened before. You get me? It, it, is, it, is it an algorithm? Is this is a what we're seeing here, aren't we? We are seeing a, a trend. Like the social media is now. If you want to get the views and and the money in, you you need to react to what's trending. You need to collaborate exactly. with the people that are trending, and it, so the algorithm has taken control of 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 us basically right yes and and it's it's actually sparking a new religion which i call algorithm islam so your belief is what the <laughs> algorithm tells you to believe right whatever is popping on the algorithm that's what you believe so now the yeah. alt right is popping that's what you're there's a certain youtuber we're not going to mention his name okay because <laughs> we don't want to get you all in trouble but he tried to do a podcast similar to fresh and fit now why do you think he tried to do that why because it's some, some somehow Islamically viable or something like that. No, no. He knows how to navigate through YouTube. He knows what's going on. You get me? So now they're looking at these really despicable characters like Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit is very despicable, very disgusting. Fresh and Fit, Fit is now... I'll be honest with you, I don't even know who they are. I know that's really bad, probably, because I've heard the names, but I've never Good, seen them. Good, alhamdulillah. Allah, Allah blessed you by not, not knowing who they are. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay. alhamdulillah. If, you don't know, if you don't know who these folks are, family, don't don't look them up, okay? Yeah. Unfortunately, I know who they are because of what I do on my channel, okay? Sneeko uh, and yeah. Marlon are fresh, fresh and Yeah, yeah, sneak, yeah that's right. Sneeko sneak goes, on, goes on that podcast regularly, okay. right? And the Myron is the self-hating he, Sudani yeah, that runs it. The non is you know, muslim who, who he, will, he is he will borrow he money is, at interest to, to buy real estate i i've seen him like twice they came through things but i know who they are and then i think he's talking about the the bitter truth show ali dawa had a background that looked very much <laughs> so mike of he works here mike watches it I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't okay. me. I, 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 I didn't say nothing. Jordan, Jordan. <laughs> I mean, it's like yeah. the You're going to have to kick Mike. You're going to have to kick Mike. Give me a boot. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, Jordan. <laughs> yeah. we, we say we say everything on, on, you know, on our channel. But um, the main thing, though, is that all of these guys have a, they have a type, you know? You know, so you know some people have a type, you know? Some people like blondes, some people like brunettes, you know, some people like, you know, darker skinned girls, lighter skinned girls. These dudes have a type. They have a type. Their type is anti-black white supremacists whose careers are dying. That is their type. Okay. Uh, is that, are they people that bring in clout then? Because for me, right? Yeah. I mean, I know, I know, I know five, five pillars platform Jada and, and that kind of blew mm-hmm. up. But I think if I platform Jada before... No one mm-hmm. would watch that, would they? If I if I got Jada on here and had a conversation with her, if she she's down in the dumps, her career is like you know she's basically had nothing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but would you do it though? I wouldn't. Yeah, I would because you have integrity. You get it? You get it? There's there's a big difference. You know, if you don't have integrity, you're gonna do what you want. And this is what I'm saying. These these guys have a type. It's not just Jada that was uh, on Five Pillars. Right, not just because I think we agree. Had Mark Carl, Carlett on there. If right? it's an algorithm um, thing, what, what, why would Jada Franzen isn't someone that would spark a big algorithm? She's like a dead character, really, or she was. That's before. what I said. The, the dying, the dying yeah. ones. Right. So now, what's happening is when when you when you're on YouTube or what now, one of the best ways to to you know build your platform is to do these collabs, these collaborations. Okay, if you do a collaboration, right, right now. Right. If my audience sees me on Jordan M's 
channel, they'll be like, oh, who's this Jordan M? Then my audience will come to yours. Your, your audience may come to mine. I know I'm a little bit on the crazy side, but they may. <laughs> and then you get, we both get a boost. And yeah. that's what's going on here. So, yeah. so what, when, to revive their careers, that's why they do that stuff. You get it? Yeah. Right? But there's a populist movement going on within the Muslims. Right? And that populism is just driving the Muslims sorry, into uh, the far right political end of the spectrum. You get me? So for 30 solid years, Muslims, the Muslim immigrant community has always been liberal. 30 straight solid years, right? Then all of a sudden, right, in 2000, was it 2020, maybe, yeah, around 2020 or so, right, we've seen folks like Daniel Hikikuchu push hard his alt-right agenda. And then he started with, as you know, he started with the Yakin Institute, and that's where he started. And then he ended up with the Salafis, Right. And when he did that AIM conference, that really blew him up. OK. And now then he ended yeah. up with the YouTubian that elites. But his whole call, his whole dawah is to the alt right. And we said this years ago. And guess what? Guess what? He put on his ex, his Twitter. I know, I know who Nick Fuentes is. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He gave a list. He gave a bucket list of alt right personalities, all of them very far right, very white supremacist, and anti-Islamic, but uh, they're anti-Zionist too. So hey, listen to these folks. He's not even hiding it anymore. He's not even hiding it. You know what I mean? And all of these all of these dudes, your Sneakos, your Andrew Tates, your, your self-hating Sudani Myron Gaines from Fresh and Fit, all of them are simultaneously getting their Negro wake-up calls. You know what a Negro wake-up call is? No, I think I can okay, get it. Okay, so a, ne a Negro wake-up call is when a black person is very anti-black, right? Like your Candace oh, Owens, yeah. Okay. Like your like your Sneakos, like your Andrew Tates, right? Like your Myron from. If you're very very anti-black, and then all of a sudden the white folks that you are shucking and jiving and twitching and twirling and twerking for, all of a sudden they tell you, you know what? You was a Negro. What is you yeah. doing up in here? They're all yeah. getting their Negro wake up calls today, right? All of them simultaneously, and now they're out there crying. Sneeko, I think it was yesterday, right? Because Andrew Tate says stuff about Haiti and whatnot. That's why they're beefing. One, one, somebody says something about Haiti, admiring or something like that. Somebody says something. Now, all of a sudden, Sneeko, all of a sudden, he's against white supremacy. After all that, you know, hard N-word and black people, this black, and all of a sudden, he, he recognized what white supremacy is. Imagine he said, that. He said the N-word. Sneeko said the N-word. All the time. He, he went on. With the your YouTube and the elites, not gonna mention the names, okay? For them, this is equivalent to what we call a major sin in Islam. For a person to say this about another person, this is like you've done That's a major sin. No, no, I'm saying this is how the West looks at. Okay, okay. Uh, this is what I'm saying. In it, Islam, you could say the N word, right? Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it, but it's Ramadan. I don't want to. If and he wasn't but, asking is about Nico, Nico, is he a is he a black person? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's half. He's uh, black. So is Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate's black. So is, as you know, Candace Owens. But again, white supremacy is not restricted to white people. It is a global yeah. system. It is a. It is what you call it. Codified in literature, in science, in economics, in in legislation. It is something that is a global system where people who have classified themselves as white dominate the darker skinned people of the earth, specifically black people. And then the other folks. But I digress. That's another argument for another day. The whole point, okay, the whole point is that Sneeko, right, he is out there with Nick Fuentes advocating for him to be the president of the United States and all of this kind of stuff with their America First movement and everything like that. And then he discovers white supremacy yesterday. Are you kidding me right now? If, 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 this, if this is not a grift, there's no such thing as grifting on the earth. It doesn't exist. I'm sorry, yeah. I talk too much. I know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> like I said, a lot, of the, a lot of this stuff I, I, I don't really know much about. <laughs> Let me mm. try and get my... activating the printer. I know who Nick Fuentes is, and it's mm. fairly obvious that he's a kind of white supremacist character. So yeah, I, I, I had no idea that Sneeko was sort of was Sneeko or Tate was you say was paddy paddy with him or Hikikachu, I think you said. No, he Hikikachu put out a list from his ex account. I'll put the link if I can find it. I have it somewhere here, but I'll put the link directly so y'all can see for yourself. And he's the one who said, not me. We were talking about him years ago. We're saying like this dude. At first we started. He, he, he's pandering to the alt right, then he is alt right, and he's like, no, this this dude is is hardcore white supremacy. And then all, every Muslim that ends up listening to him, following through his funnel, through you know from his YouTube to his 
Facebook and then they get funneled to his his blog, then they get funneled to his 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 Telegram account. That's his Telegram account is where he he says what he really believes. That's mm -hmm. where that's where you get the real hardcore stuff for the, in his Telegram. Okay, yeah. and we put that on the first in our channel. And what happened? All these YouTubers start going to his Telegram to start refuting. But I'm just saying. Well, anyways, <laughs> the whole point. Yeah, yeah. The whole point is right. Any Muslim that listens to him deep like that ends up becoming white supremacists. All of them. Okay. They yeah. all end up uh, becoming like that, right? But let me just try, just try to try to find like I'll let you all talk because I talk too much. Anyways, go ahead. Come. Cool. See you there. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Awesome. How you doing, mate? Is that a British accent you got there as well? Hey, I was born here, so you know. <laughs> yeah, no. British. <laughs> no, I'm well, have you got any anything to add so far to the to the company? I, mean, I think for me, like. Obviously, when I, when I started watching features, it was more to do. Obviously, a black Muslim needs a voice as well in amongst all of this, and he seems to have a have a strong voice. And it's interesting seeing his perspective to a lot of these things that maybe maybe some of us don't notice. So I put it in the private chat there, so you can you can pop it up if you want the people to see. All right? Yeah, I think you you critical you're very critical of the that was seen. I think it's needed. We need mm -hmm. a balance because that was that were personalities are taken as influencers, role models, just like other people. Mm -hmm. So like it's good that features is critical, I think. But would you um, say though that and would you agree features that obviously people on the Dawa scene are, are obviously Muslims that have these challenges, whether it's you know, because I know it's a lot it's being probably online and having fame and having money and stuff like that from this is a big fitner for many people. So yeah, I guess your hope is to to help these people, or is it to more call people just to not listen to them? Or no, this is this is where where I I, I personally stand. Right, me personally, I know very well that going against a machine like this is always going to be a, an uphill battle. Right, but like I said before, you know, Allah's not going to punish you for integrity. If you have integrity, that Allah's not going to punish you for that. But when you start monetizing the destruction. Of the and the dawah to guiding people to kufri ideology like being an alt writer like you know siding with actual non-muslims who hate islam and, and telling muslims do these type of things and, and you take money for that and you take uh, fame and popularity for that not only is that absolutely of course you know this is, is punishable by the quran and the sunnah you know we have many ahadith and, and ayats about these folks like this Right. However, there needs to be somebody in the Muslim community that's, that's, that's doing this type of work because the hammer will eventually come down. When Ch Tate goes to jail and he will go to jail, all the non-Muslims will remember how the Muslims stood up for Tate and defended him through thick and, and, and thin. And they're going to say, well, how come you guys defended this, this, you know, CP, you know, and all this kind of stuff, you know, how come you, you know, that's going to, that is coming. And it's already yeah. started to come, by the way. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I follow Features' lives anyway. And I, t I take on his points with the regarding the Dawa scene all the time. I don't agree with, of course, everything anybody says. The Dawa scene has lots of problems. I think everyone is witnessing those issues. I think what Features pointed out about the, f the far right sort of stuff is still a bit over my head. But well, I'm yeah. trying my best to understand. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm I, think, I, I agree with that. The, the yeah. reason I don't normally do videos about other Muslims, but the reason mm. I did specific videos about Andrew Tate is for that very reason. I'm like, mm. I have to free myself publicly from this guy because yeah. we seem to, as a community, seem to be supporting someone. And look, he's a Muslim, so maybe between him and Allah, his slate is clean and all that. He still owes the debts to society. He's admitted mm. that he's been basically grooming women into a webcam business. He's admitted mm. to many other things himself. But here's the thing. The defense of Andrew Tate has gotten comical, right, to the point where yeah, this, is this, is, this is cartoonish. Andrew Tate, every single month, he does something to leave Islam without making, making Tauba. Okay, every month, he apostate, <laughs> okay. he apostate, something new. And still okay. these guys got excuses for him, man. You know, he, he even says, you know, this is from his statements, not just his statements, but his actual actions as well. Let's go take our Bugattis and wor worship Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So it's midnight and we're going to worship Jesus. Yeah. Is that like the whole community? The whole community, everyone in this country will go out. So we're a bunch of guys getting in their supercars on a mission to go and praise Jesus. Basically, yeah. 
Praise the Lord. Let's go. Amen. Nothing more inspirational than saddling up with your boys and a bunch of supercars and taking time out your day to go and praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Doesn't get, Amen. It doesn't get better than that, does it, Bailey? It doesn't. You know, he, he actually did this, right? And he's publicly said that. He said, I am your Lord, worship me. Who in the Quran says, I am your Lord, worship me? Who is not Allah? Mm. It's fear own. You know, and yeah. I am your I am your Lord, literally word for word. Could literally he be given the uh, could he be given the Riva ignorance kind of like Of course not. No, 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 no. Of course not. Nope. I, nope. No, Jordan. Not. What, what Jordan, kind of re, what, what what kind of ignorance is, is yeah. this? You become Muslim yeah. to call yourself the Lord and to pe tell people to worship you. And on top yeah, of that, you Jordan. know, even even let's say let's speak hypothetically that he did he yeah. truly didn't know for some strange reason, mm -hmm. right? Like, Islam is about to lead and worshiping Allah, but somehow he yeah. stuck himself in there by by accident, by ignorance. Bare yeah. minimum, he has to make tobo, right? Bare minimum. Yep. Yep. Name yep. one time he apostated. Right, that he actually made tell before. None, zero. Not, Look, Jordan, you have these, to consider. These YouTubians are out on YouTube making excuses for him for a man who doesn't make an excuse for himself. Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely correct. Because uh, Jordan, you have to consider, right? In, in Islam, there's some things which are known as ma'loom fi din bi darura, which in Arabic it means that some things are known by necessity in the religion, right? A kafir, a Muslim, a non-Muslim will all know that this thing constitutes a positive blasphemy within the religion. Even a non-Muslim understands anybody who says that Jesus to be worshipped or to call him, himself to be worshipped or call anything for that matter to be worshipped besides Allah constitutes blasphemy and apostasy from the religion of Islam. Everyone understands that. Now, he's not only just a person who's looked into Islam, he's accepted it, he's read about it, he's been Muslim for three years, he came from a relatively Christian background and so he understands what he got himself into when he said Ashhadu wa la ilaha illallah as most people do to the extent that they left they left their old, old religion right yeah. so there's no way that there's an excuse for ignorance which in Arabic is other bil jahl it is spoken about as a concept in these in this matter particularly and not for Andrew Tate yeah and so there, there, there does come a point where there isn't an excuse for ignorance and the ruling applies to the individual and they must be treated as such otherwise otherwise you do confuse your principles you confuse your religion and you end up not knowing how to judge in any situation yeah and this is what's exactly what's happened the muslim the wider muslim population who doesn't know because you're your two being that elites are out defending this giving you this to this guy if you can excuse this that is what what kufr is an excuse yeah yeah, I'm just I'm just saying. Okay, let's let's read let's read the tweet real quick, and then I gotta bounce. Can you, can you see it there? Or what is it? I can't see it. No, no, it's real too too small for so me. So it says, "Waalaikum salam." This is from Daniel Hagigchu. If you saw my post replying to Andrew and Tristan Tate, my live stream yesterday, and other posts, you can see I have blasted Tommy Robinson and the EDL crowd for the Zionist shills they are. Did you see those posts? Who is he responding to? Is it, I can't remember some okay. other. Uh, I in no way think that any anything should be conceded to scum like Robinson, Murray, et al. My entire post is specifically regarding right wing pro Palestine voices. So not. What sure did he how say? We... Right wing pro Palestine voices. Yeah, right? that seems so like keep, an oxymoron. Yeah. Go ahead. So not sure how this conflation with designer shills is being made. So a right wing pro Palestine voice would be Jada, wouldn't it? Someone like that. Yes. So white supremacy, like any other ideology, has different flavors, yeah. okay? Zionism is a form of white supremacy. Daniel Hagikachu, he's basically saying we like our white supremacists that are, who, who uh, disavow Zionism. That's how we like our white supremacists. And here's a list of our white supremacists who are disavowing Zion Zionism. Okay. You get me? Yeah. Re remember, if you go throughout, through, I mean, this is a little bit deep, right? But the Jews have a, lo a long history there in Europe, okay? Zionism, when it first started with Ben-Gurion and all this kind of stuff back in the yeah. early 1900s or whatnot, right? It was seen as a, a type of quid pro quo for Europeans. You Jews can have your own homeland outside of our homeland because we yeah. tired of you, okay? <laughs> we tired of you living yeah, amongst yeah. us, all right? Yeah, yeah. Right? We've seen what y'all did in World War One. We're just tired of you. You, we'll give you your own homeland. Okay, so this, these folks are white supremacists, and these folks are white supremacists. You get me? 
the yeah. old school white supremacists that are are supporting a Zionism, they're supporting Zionism because they don't want the white supremacists who are Jews back into their European yes. lands, right? Right. While the other white supremacists, those the, the other white supremacists, they remember that history that the Jews did in their countries. And yeah. that's why they're anti-Zionist. Yeah. You get me? So you can have your home Daniel, if you don't want you here. <laughs> exactly. Daniel Hikikuchu was like, hey, guys, listen to these folks. <laughs> listen yeah, to these okay. type of white supremacists. Not a yeah. single Muslim, and, and not any of them are, are pro-Islam anyways. Yeah. But anyways, I, I digress. But family, Jazako Brother Jordan, right? No, I yeah, hope yeah. I didn't get you too much Let's trouble. You. No. <laughs> Jazako Akai, Brother Tawid. That's all right. Jazako Akai, audience, and, and, and Mike, Mike Mazin. Nice yeah. to meet you, brother. <laughs> all right. Am I am I YouTubian, Dai? Of course not, man. You're. Uh, a, how do I become are, one? <laughs> no, please, please don't, bro. Please. please. If you did, you'd have a lot better. You would have paid for your stream yard. <laughs> People making clips for you. So you have a whole team. By you. Uh, yeah, I've got the don't, free package. Don't, don't, don't do it. I've got the free package. <laughs> nice. right. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her. And she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs>